What? Yeah. No, I'm... Yeah, I'm behaving myself. I'm, no, I'm not playing in abandoned buildings. What? Again? Now. I suppose you had those people follow me again. Fine. Hey. This is Jimmy Farrell from Monty and the Farrell, and I want to thank all our subscribers. We have now passed 14,000 on our YouTube channel. But I want to ask our subscribers to take the next step for us and become a full-fledged member of Monty and the Pharaoh. Yeah, that's right, folks. There's three different levels to choose from. There's free shirts. There's free autographs. Just check it out and become a member of Long Island's number one pro wrestling broadcast, Monty and the Pharaoh. Later. All right, welcome back to Long Island's number one pro wrestling broadcast, Monty and the Pharaoh. And at the board is Jared. How are you, Jared? I'm doing good. How's everyone? Everybody seems to be piling in. Good to see everybody on Thursday. And so uh, last week, we'll talk about our suspension in a minute, but we were going to have Jamie Dundee on along with his wife, Angela, and just go live on Facebook and then mm -hmm. tape it when we were allowed to air get it. back, right. allowed to air it. Right. But unfortunately, out of nowhere, we <laughs> were suspended over the Greg Valentine interview uh, for fraudulent discussions of the previous election. So I guess we're not allowed to discuss the election. Oh, you're allowed to discuss it, but you have to be on the right side of things. Ah. Ah. Well, you just be careful. You realize how I careful understand. I'm being right yes. now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you dare like a certain side, you are not allowed to have free speech. The worst part is, is though, what is, what is an interviewer to do when he has a guest on who he respects? Right. And asks a question. What is he to do when that guest answers it the way the guest feels? Why is it the interviewer who takes the the the, the, the punishment? I'm a little a little confused. Well, I would tell you about I that. Quick, I don't think I quickly it's responded and, and again, to the suspension. This the is guest the second didn't time. say anything to me that would have been like, "Well, he's basically doing a Charles Manson. Everyone's going to well, think what, like him." What makes me I laugh? I didn't get that vibe. What's what makes me laugh? You could have wrestlers talk about rape and drugs mm -hmm. sure. and whatever right but if they have their opinion about a the form of again president? and this is their opinion they're not telling everybody it's else to have opinion. that opinion right that's no good free speech is dead free speech is dead dead yeah that's how i feel free speech is dead that's how it feels Oh, and I'd also like to say, I love you, Greg Valentine. You the man. How about that? All right, well, with that, <laughs> you know. So anyway, we were going to have Jamie Dundee and Angela Dundee. And yeah. It would have been fun. That would have been we fun. We had, uh, they just had, we had they too were many internet. Serious, we were having a serious call. So we were going to have them on today, typical. but Angela has a little issue and Jamie has a little issue. So maybe we'll have them on another time. That would be which cool. Which will be fine. That would be cool. I wanted, to, I wanted to mention this. What is this? So. Um, what the hell is that? This author reached out to me, okay. D.R. Feeler, okay. and he wrote this book, Gorp the Grappler. Gorp the Grappler. Yeah, and I asked nice. him to send me a copy. Okay. All right. Um, and I want to read it, and Gorp. you want to read it, and uh. when, you know, within the next near future, I guess, depending on how everything goes with me, we'll have 
him on, but I want okay. to read some of the praise for Dr. Feeler. I, I think I'm saying it right. Book great fun says David Bischoff from the Washington Post. Okay. A good job in a genre crossing of a tall take with science fantasy. Great at science fiction all of famer Joe Hattleman. Okay. Really sucked me in. Nicely wacky USA Today best-selling writer, pulp house editor Dean Wesley Smith. So some big names. Okay. So again, I haven't read it, but it but it's about an alien invader mistakes the world championship of wrestling for the world championship of Earth. <laughs> Whoops. Could have happened to anybody, <laughs> I right? Like that. So this this is gonna be an interesting read, and I and oh, I we'd love, I'd like to have him on. It okay. would be it would be kind of fun. Oh, that works, right? What do yeah, you think? I like it. I like the premise. Stinger in <laughs> the insane. house. How are you, buddy? Little like roll it. call. Got everybody in. Rick Stinger. B. Again, thank you, sir, for the kind Letters words. Up. Rick B. The first lady is in the house. Uh, we got Roy yeah. is in the house. Uh, let's see who up? else we got. Did JB. You, did you mention Phil already? I did mention Phil. Did Phil? Phil? What's up, ESO Phil? Creative in the house. ESO, I know I keep promising to call you. I'm sorry. I cannot get my head out of my proverbial ass. <laughs> RJ, good to see you, buddy. Uh, who Pull else? real uh, hard, maybe? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I, uh, look, dude, I concentration is not one of my strengths right now. Uh, that is for sure. Well, you know, distractions have been occurring. Yes. I, I, I get it. I um, get it. So, something uh, disturbing? What? Why? Four killed in an hour-long Memphis shooting rampage before the suspect arrest, arrested, police say. Okay. Memphis, Tennessee, a gunman who live-streamed himself driving around Memphis, shooting at people. Live-streamed? Killing, yeah, he was live-streaming. That's Killing fantastic. four and wounding three others in seemingly random attacks was finally arrested after crashing his stolen car, police said early Thursday, which is today. Hours-long rampage had police warning people across the city to shelter in place, locking down in a baseball stadium and university cam campuses and suspending public bus services as frightened residents wondered where this man would strike next. next. Memphis insane. police said four people were killed, three others were wounded in seven shootings and at least two carjackings before Ezekiel Kelly was arrested. Um... By the way, Mr. Kelly was just served a three-year sentence where he would still be in prison today and four of our fellow citizens would still be alive. He was released early from his sentence. Yep. It's saying. Yep. Very interesting. Thoughts on that? Um, my thoughts on that are, do we really... Now, he's arrested, right? They didn't kill him or anything? They didn't That's shoot him or anything? No, he's, he's arrested. arrested. Yeah. So my, my thoughts are, do we really need to waste any tax dollars on giving this guy a process or can we just strap him to the chair now? Don't work like that, Farrell. I know it don't work like that, but is there any way we could just see our way around it maybe perhaps just one time? No? I, I don't think so. I guess I'm just a ruthless SOB then, aren't I? But more because than... you can't do this kind of shit! But you know He's live funny. streaming doing but, this? Hold on. And we're going to waste our tax dollars you giving can, him a civil you can trial? You can... What was civil about you, bro? You, you, fry! You can live stream. Shit, You can fry. live stream mass shootings. Yeah. But you can't talk about an election. No, of course not. Be careful what you say or I'll suspend you again. Uh, freedom of speech is The guy dead. literally is on social media I talking and then yeah. pulling a gun out and shooting people. You can did see they, it. Did they take it off of social media or can I you still look it up? I would hope so. Uh, you wonder. You wonder. Unbelievable. Yeah, we live in a very fucked up world. I don't know. I wouldn't waste my tax dollars on well, that's not him. enough. I'd strap him up and fry him. Suspected Damn. Memphis teacher abduction and death ordered held without ban. Man's bond. Man suspected of abducting and killing. Yeah. A Memphis teacher who was out jogging, jogging was temporarily ordered held without bond Wednesday on the murder charge. Uh, so we all know the story. The teacher was kidnapped and then murdered. Just taking a jog. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to waste tax dollars on this one too? Look, this is going to sound very, very uh, sands of time and very old school, but I almost believe eye for an eye. If you start something and you do something wrong, you should get it right back. If you start it, if you started it, then you get what you get. Do you remember it being like this when we were younger? Look, you had your occasional serial killer. I got it, right? right. You know that. Oh, was... we had our psychos, but nothing like nothing. But, but like this, this is madness. This is this complete is madness. madness. And I've told you before, I can draw a parallel, and I don't give a shit if nobody hears it or not. And it's so simple. In 1996, America closed every psychiatric center, for the most part, in this country and told the sick, take a pill, you'll be okay at home. 
Well, guess what? Within a year, we had Columbine because there was no place to send troubled people, whether they're young, whether they're older, whatever it is. We don't give a shit. We give them a pill. I'm not feeling good. Go to a doctor. You know how much you got to pay to talk to somebody, by the way? Look, when you're sick, families used to realize when they were family units, when we were kids and way before us, our grandparents, they'd recognize if someone in the family is fucking sick in the head, guess where they would go, Mike? Kings Park Psychiatric Center. I understand. Pilgrim State Psychiatric Center. Or some of the other very famous ones, Blydenburg, wherever it is in, in, in Philly, wherever it was. Now, these places weren't perfect, but at least these places were keeping potential kooks like this from roaming the fucking street. Now, if you're insane, you got to do something to get into a Kings Park. You know what they call Kings Park today? A prison. Right. You go to prison. Listen to this. A mess. Mental w- illness is fucking a, real, a mess, folks. A mess just wrote, where I live, just had a police chase a man for the last four days. He stabbed 11 people to death. Great. Wounded 10. Ugh. The RCMP caught Ugh. him yesterday where he died arriving to the hospital. Okay. Well, at least we wanted to waste tax J- dollars on Well, Jamie said hopefully he had a painful ride. Yeah, I would hope so. I would hope so. Listen, you know what? You bring up a valid point. I'm Mental telling illness you. This is real. We just turn our backs on sick Or is people. it just we that don't people want to be famous? Who the fuck? See, that I don't Look, I want to be famous. We all do deep down. Mm-hmm. We all want to be loved and adored and all that shit. Right. And if you don't, there's something weird about you. I'm not going to say there's anything wrong with you. Maybe just something weird. But who the hell would do that? This is how I want to be remembered? I'm going to be famous by by shooting innocent people or doing harm? That is not. That is not. Look, the, okay, news to the future serial killers of the world. It's all been done. You're now falling into a, not a quality situation, I'm being very sarcastic, sure. we're falling into a quantity situation where it's happening all the time. You're not going to differentiate yourself, you're not going to make yourself so fucking special. Why don't you just fucking chill, okay? Because the Charles Mansons were one in Kabillion as far as these, these wackos. Not anymore. Or the Jeffrey Dahmers. Not anymore. You know what, though? It's happening so often. Exactly. Quantity. It's just like... Can, you I, can I ask you a You're question? not going to be famous over this. You're going to be famous for being an asshole. Can I ask Who you wants a... to be famous for that? Let me ask well, you a question. A Interesting. What about me? <laughs> Let me ask you this. I was talking to the pastor the other day, right? Yeah. Oh, it was a couple okay. weeks ago. Okay. But... I ran. I, actually, it's funny. I was getting a sandwich after my blood work today, okay. and I, some guy just starts talking to me about Jesus. But anyway, okay. it's not the point. Did you bless the sandwich? No. So here, here's Dude, here's golden the, opportunity. Here's the point. Okay. I was talking to the pastor, hmm. and you mentioned Jeffrey Dahmer. Mm-hmm. If anyone doesn't know Jeffrey Dahmer, we mm. right right Jeffrey mm. Dahmer mm. caught people and ate, ate them, them and all cannibal. that shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah. from what I understand, Many Jeffrey John Dahmer found Christ. Correct. And uh, so did Son of Sam. So right. did Son of Sam. Gotcha. And according to my pastor, and even this gentleman mm-hmm. that was in there, mm-hmm. said that when we cross over, if Jeffrey Dahmer truly did repent, mm-hmm. he will be in the right side of Christ. Mm. Interesting. Now, as a human being, Interesting. it's difficult to accept that, right? right? Because Interesting. we measure things like well, cheat. Hold on, okay. cheating on your wife, mm-hmm. doing drugs, right. lying, lusting, right? Eating people, <laughs> yeah. okay? Yeah. The yeah. Bible mm-hmm. says it's all the same. Yeah. There right. Is, there is no. There is no greater sin. Although there is a mention of there is one great sin, but that's up for debate. But yes. To sin is sin to God, if that's what you're getting at. So yes. do you believe Bible, that if yeah. Jeffrey Dahmer really repented? Mm-hmm. Here's what I believe, and I'm going to make this as real as I can. Go ahead. I don't know whether Jeffrey Dahmer truly repented because I am not inside Jeffrey Dahmer's heart. That's the job of the baker. So I can't answer this, that's, and I, nor would I have the balls to attempt to answer this because no. that is... For the principal to answer. I understand. So I ain't touching it. I, I, I understand your pastor's point, And it's obviously a very pro-positive. Jesus is the Lord, the way, the truth, the life. I understand right. where he's getting at. I completely do. But I do not have the cojones to know for sure what Dahmer felt in his heart. And that, that's up to the principal to measure. So I ain't touching that. Understood. I will not touch that out of respect. JB says, you "Crazy, know. did Manson, Manson ever actually off anyone?" I do not believe he did. Right? Uh, Manson, you claim there was something earlier Ma- Ma- that he did. Manson but. was behind Shorty Shea. Uh, he did. He did 
w- whack off a couple of people back in 65, 66. According to legend. Not to legend. Bugliosi discovered these things. I mean, not that Bugliosi was the greatest guy either, but Bugliosi was the prosecuting attorney. Uh, Charlie also did physically tie up the LaBiancas. The night that the lobby, but he didn't kill him. anybody. No, not that night. No, he did not. Uh, theoretically, is Charles theoretically Manson, Manson a, is was Charles charged Manson with a influencing? Yeah, of course he is. Well, because you know he's charged with influencing. <laughs> right? Did Hitler physically kill all those Jews in the concentration? No, he didn't. Do that's you a great see point. where I'm going? No, that's a great point. Okay, so let's not give Charles Manson any kind of out here. We're not. The guy's a psycho fuck, right? Who I actually find incredibly interesting, and he had a pretty good voice. Really good Which point is about weird. it's really good but, point you know, about Hitler, man. I didn't think yeah, about it. Yeah, I mean, that come way. on, you know, I mean, Stalin too, and Mussolini, and a bunch of others. I mean, you know, you could go on and on and on. Genghis Khan's got the highest body count in the history of mankind. Genghis good, Khan, good wrestling show. You know? Yeah. If you didn't know it, that's the start of the show, Mr. Well, Genghis Jimmy Khan Farrell. Was related to Killer Khan. There wrestling. You go. I'd like go to ahead. thank the band that sings the theme song for Monty and Farrell Uh-oh. and Jimmy Farrell, Uh-oh. along with his partner Bart Griggs. Bart- Man. Make up the band Wisteria Hall. Ooh. Wisteria Hall can be found on the Wisteria Hall YouTube page. Wisteria Ooh. Hall Facebook. No, I'm sorry. That's Spotify, a- Apple <laughs> Music, and Reverb Nation. Download such <laughs> great songs yeah. as In My Dream, This Life, Not yeah. Far Behind, Here yeah. Comes the Rain. Yeah. Yeah. When are you guys coming out with a new album? It's not, you know what? It's in the works. We're 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 we're, we're getting it going. I'm excited. We're, we actually have a lot of tracks laid down already. That's awesome. So you know, it's on its way. And if you didn't know, you are watching Long Island's number one pro wrestling broadcast, Monty and Faro. Hear us on the Monty. See us on the Monty and Faro YouTube page, Facebook Live page. Hear us on iHeartRadio, Spotify, Anchor, Twitch TV. Well, we're not suspended. When we're not suspended, right. channel 115 every Tuesday at 9.30 and Saturday at 11.30 and channel 20 at Tuesday. The contracts are signed. Oh, there God. is some time changes I what? will announce. Okay. Um, it's not much much difference, oh, okay. I don't think, because right. right. the spot's been doing well for the network. Good, so. good, 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 good. We'll be right back with what we're calling people who appear to be resisting change may simply be the victim of bad habits. Ooh, see you in a sec. You need a body shop? You need engine repair? Auto Excellence, Collision Specialist, 631-261-6420. That's 631-261-6420. Auto Excellence. And APB, American Protection Bureau, voted number one best on Long Island for all your security needs. Call 631-390-9050. That's 631-390-9050. APB. That's right, folks. Canine Corral. For all your dog daycare and overnight care, call 631-549-1544. That's 631-549-1544. All right, welcome back to Long Island's number one pro wrestling broadcast. Monted Fire only seen here on Indie Music TV in the house watching us tonight. The great Randy Hogan. Randy Hogan! What is up, our friend? I what love, is up? I love Randy. Randy oh, God, I rules. love Randy. Randy, I gotta give you a shout out. Later. I got two autograph pictures you what's of Randy. Going on. That's cool. That's 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 what a mark. We had him and Mach in there? Yes. Mach has gone AWOL. Mach, Mach went talking? AWOL off the channel, as you know. Right. And then he's now just now he's just now gone. He's AWOL? Just gone. Like is you he, don't see much wait of a minute, him. Was at he all. hanging out with Wolfie? I don't know. He he shared his uh, new YouTube page. Oh, and uh, he's doing well. Two subscribers. Um, <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> two. Oh, yeah, oh, two. He actually, you cream you of enjoyed the, his the show. Cream of the you, flop. The cream of the flop. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh yeah! I did enjoy his show so much for that. Catch me on the Monty and the Pharaoh channel. Been sign number one. And I'm doing well. And then I say, you know what? I don't need those guys anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna oh, do it on my oh, own. That's right. I'm Hear you, brother. Like Hulk Hogan. I left you 20 TV dinners. That's right. You stay in this room. Yeah! I don't need you either, Hogan. <laughs> this is one of the worst Macho Man impressions I've ever heard. We are horrible. Yeah. I don't uh, need you, Randy Hogan. Yeah, dig it! I'll do it by myself, yeah. <laughs> two subscribers, oh, yeah. Man, my, I was my, actually getting paid by Monty my, and Farrow. That's my puppy you're hearing. I was getting paid. <laughs> But I went to do it on my own. 
and I'm nowhere. This is really rough. Along with I didn't know we were going to take this train. Along with Mike Messier, who had a show on. Don't our start with me. Don't start with me, please. Don't. Hey, it's start me, with Mike me. Messier, the angry wrestling fan. I had no subscribers, and only have two thousand. You know what? I did this on my own. I don't need Monty and Faro anymore. How many subscribers do I have left? Two thousand. <laughs> I'm not being an ass. I'm just like I'm enjoying the shit out of this. The, the best part is, is just that hey, 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 mess. How's the AW locker room doing? You stupid ass. Okay, well, you oh, it's it's toxic in the WWE. Meanwhile, in AW, let me in. I'm gonna all kick right. the shit out. Give of Give the you. fans feedback. We all know about I CM can't. Punk. I'm not gonna go explain what he did. Everybody knows. Everybody's been watching. It's hot. What do you do? Pharaoh's thoughts he on CM Punk. He didn't do anything. Well, what's your thoughts uh, on uh, what uh, he supposedly my did? My God, give me somewhere to start with everything. The scrum. The scrum. Wins the AEW title. Yeah, again. Goes on a scrum. Yeah. Sees a report he doesn't like the, the, and goes yeah. crazy yeah, go, as Cokehead he... Tony Khan right. sits Just there frozen. Sit Cokehead. Would you see him Wednesday night announcing? You think the, he's a cokehead? Dude, he's announcing the AEW is tournament. He? His eyes are like fifty miles long. He sees oh reading god. off a cue pod. He's like, "That's so cool." You gotta look at that video. Tony Khan's a cokehead. Like, oh oh my please. god, that's so hilarious. That's hilarious. Come on. Okay, give, give well, it to me. okay. So CM Punk goes well. First off, he goes off about the whole Coke Cabana thing. We know the history with Coke Cabana and the podcast and all that other crap and the lawsuits and all that other good shit. So he's going off about that, and that's fine. I I did love what he said when he said that the two people who've made the most money off me are Vince McMahon and this fucking prick Coke Cabana. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. Go, Phil. Go. All right, we've heard this before. Go ahead. Go, Phil. Then he starts to go after the EVPs. And I'm going, oh, shit. He's talking about the guys who started the company. Is he talking about fucking the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega? Holy shit, is he taking his shit on them. And then he goes after MJF. And I love what he said. He was like, MJF likes to shit where he eats. I was like, what the fuck is going on? I didn't realize why Tony Khan was so subdued. He was coming down from coke. Now I understand. You think that's it? That he just sat there like a useless owner. I mean, the company is going up. CM Punk is destroying the company by sentence by sentence. And then afterwards, <laughs> toof, 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 toof. They're smashing down his door. CM what? Punk, CM Punk has nice no, company CM you guys Punk, got there. CM Punk has no respect for anybody, and that's his problem. Right. No, he doesn't. And I'd have to think he has no respect for his wife, AJ Lee. Why? 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 Because you... if you treat everybody I'm not like he treats. That one. If That's you rough. treat everybody like the way you treat, mm. look, Vince McMahon, Triple H, the WWE, now yeah. Cole Cabana. Look, yeah, he, he, he could be angry. Yeah, you don't want to get in a fight with him. How about if you respect were his Tony Khan, who brought yeah. you back, paying you millions of dollars, yeah, you know, and now you're just destroying everything none, he's trying to build? None, none. He's uh, talk about going into business for yourself. <laughs> this is the whole scrum was kind of going into business for himself. R.J. Hudson says, "I knew I wasn't the only one that Tony was hitting the cocaine. That dude is all <laughs> yeah. over it." I didn't realize this. That's interesting. Hmm. The AEW needs to reset. All right. So last night, great promo. MJF, MJF returns. I love MJF. Let great. me let me go over some of the lines with you, and okay. then I need your response. Okay. Okay. Uh, he talks about how he might have said offensive uh, offensive stuff. Or he was just kidding, right? He loves AEW. He went on about the address uh, addresses the upcoming tournament and that he has the chip and then he's he doesn't want to work hard, but he's going to win the title. I was actually on Twitter, and I was like, this is the end of AEW if MJF is turning face. Right. I was already writing that. I'm like, right. they cannot be going down this oh, road. No, I didn't think it. Believe it or not. Yeah, I'm the only idiot that thought it. <laughs> I, I must be the only idiot because I was thinking to myself. I didn't think it. I was waiting They for just the... lost all their faces. Right. They're going to turn this guy. And I'm like, this is a, such a huge That would have been horrendous. No, no, no. no I, could, I, I was waiting for the change. And, and Moxley, of course, made that change happen. So he starts attacking the Bills fans. He starts <laughs> name dropping all That's the great. triple, you know, all the WWE guys. Sure, and, and old St. Nick, Nick Khan, the real Khan in this business. Wow. <laughs> he was. You weren't too happy about him mentioning WWF. Why the fuck would they do that? It's a mistake. I, it, I, why would they do this that? This is the lack of control they have. Right. Like, there is no look, control. The, the fans are running it. this company. The fans loved it, but you know what the point is? Yeah. You're just destroyed. The company, AW's on fragile ground right now. Right. Right. There's no reason to mention, Nick. I, I mentioned earlier to you. None. The casual wrestling fan doesn't know who Nick Khan is. Right. Why would you waste why, your why would time you, mentioning right, him? Right, you're going out of your way to call Why would call you Mike bring back competitor? Cody Rhodes who jumped off your ship like right. it was the sinking Titanic? Right. It's an embarrassment that he left you, quite honestly. I wouldn't bring him up. Why? 
because they don't think like Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon never mentions AEW. Never. He never did. Why would he? They're down there. That's how he sees it. This is an act of desperation. The company is acting desperate. They're acting desperate behind the scenes, and they're acting desperate on, on camera. And who's the my primary writers for AEW anyway? Who's writing all of this shit? Well, we discussed this. If, you, if you're Tony Khan and you got money, go get, get some Kevin real wrestling Sullivan. people. Yeah, go get Sullivan. Go get some fucking minds that are going to help you build right. this. A couple of comments. Jason says CM Punk had issues in the WWE, then Fox, now AEW. Yeah. Maybe the problem is Punk. No, it, it is Punk. It is Punk. It is Punk. Punk's never going to be happy. Punk has no respect for anybody but himself. He's never going to be again, happy. And again, I'm going to reiterate, I don't think he has any respect for his wife, and I can guarantee that. JB said, well, Punk's supposedly out six or eight months anyway. Yeah, all of a sudden he's injured. I mean, come right. on. Right. Just another, you know what it is? Right. Just disappear for a while, and I'll, we'll figure out what to do, you and know I'll just hand you money. The company can spin it any way they want, but if you told me on the surface that this is how it would turn out, Punk's been champion twice and hurt twice. All scrums aside and everything else, this has not translated well, okay? It's not, it's, not, it's not done well. His big mouth is getting the company attention right now. The moment he's out, out of the company, who the fuck's going to even pay attention anymore? Well, we're going to keep watching WWE retreads? CM Punk is the last thing interesting about them on their way out death's door. What's, let me ask you something. He's the only thing interesting. Did you buy the pay-per-view? Him and MJF, did they're you, interesting. Did you buy the pay-per-view? No, of course not. Because so I don't give a fuck. Wasn't that important? I don't need to waste my hard-earned money on Dean Ambrose, Chris Jericho, and Brian, to Daniel Bryan. These are former WWE studs who are past their fucking prime. Earth to people. That's the reality. Brock Lesnar is no longer even in his fucking prime. Roman Reigns is in his prime. I watch Roman Reigns every fucking week. He's in his prime, you know? By the way, there's, I was looking at the age of some of the guys, and you'd be shocked to know the age of some of these guys. Did you know that Damian Priest is 39 years old? Yeah, I thought I, thought I heard that That kind of freaks my shit out. How can he be an up-and-comer when he's 39? In the Indies a long time. Uh, apparently so. I mean, when did AJ Styles, how old was he when he got into the WWE final? AJ Grell, probably about 38. Yeah, so there you go. 38. And he was an up-and-comer, right? At least eight, but AJ was AJ. At least AJ had JB a says Tony Khan brought up the WWE also in the scrum. First of all, let's start with this. Yeah, nobody said First Tony Khan First thing with AEW, smart. we're not doing scrums anymore. Because yeah. you know what? they Listen, you know what? It's the only thing that's getting people to pay attention to. Wait, them. hold on. So this scrum the dirt got sheets, more attention the, than anything. The dirt they've sheets done came out with Thunder Rosa. Yeah. All right. Hiding. Thunder Rosa she's asked for her release. Room, right. right? She's she hiding. asked for her release. Yeah. But Tony Storm in the scrum, and I didn't watch that part of the scrum. Right. Was kind of making fun of that she didn't believe that Thunder Rosa was really hurt. Right. Do you remember when we first started? This I want you to mess. tell the fans a story. When we first started together, right? Okay. We so I was part of a show called the John Sawyer Show. That's how it all started. Okay. And we were on the show. I was on the show, and then Jimmy came along, and then it was the three of us, and it finally just became the Monty and the Flower Show. Right. But anyway, back in the day when we first started, uh, one of our first guests was the Metal Maniac. And again, if you guys remember, the Metal Maniac was on. Here with Kevin Sullivan the and Andrew all -time Anderson. The all-time biggest douchebag but guest we've ever that's had. The, Go ahead. <laughs> that, that's not my point. Douchebag. By the way, Maria Davis says Diamond Dallas Page is his prime at 35. She's right. 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 Diamond Dallas Page, of course, as Maria knows, yes. is the very rare exception. Yeah. Very rare. But anyway. Amazing career. John Sawyer. Considering. John Sawyer was an independent wrestler, a right. local Long Island independent Correct. wrestler. Correct. And metal maniac. And... Mm -hmm. They started cutting a promo on each other during the show. Right. So Metal, Metal Maniac cuts his part of the promo, mm -hmm. and then John Sawyer does his return promo. Right. Tell the fans what Metal Maniac told John Sawyer, because I know it's I know it's, in my I remember mind. it very well. Uh, he said, you moron, you put over your opponent. So John Sawyer was putting him down like, you're the sucky wrestler, right. like all these different, right. like, you're the worst, you right. can't do this, you right. can't do that, and, right. and Metal Maniac well, said. It's like, you moron. You make your opponent look good so people have interest in the match. You don't embarrass him. What are you, stupid? That was basically the deal. He was like, learn, your, learn the lessons, kid. Right. You know? You can that, attack. By the way, not that Metal Maniac is any Ric Flair. Okay? No, but, but I just got to say that because he's a douchebag. But you know what? Anyway. That has always stuck with me. And when I listen to guys do yeah. real promos, they yeah. might go, "I hate you," whatever else. Right. But they always somehow talk about. Right. You know what I mean? Like use Roman Reigns with Brock Lesnar after yeah. he beat him. Uh huh. He's like, 
Brock Lesnar is a beast, but you know, I took him down, you know, and I, you know, and mm -hmm. I slammed whatever he uses mm -hmm. that line. I slammed mm -hmm. him or whatever. Mm -hmm. You don't put down your opponent. No. It right. makes no, no. sense. It was What's great what he point? said about Lesnar. He was like, Lesnar is a bad man. He goes, I gotta give him what what he is. He's a bad, bad man. Probably the baddest man I've ever stepped in the ring with. But that doesn't mean I ain't happy I kicked his ass. Right. You know what I mean? Or he's like, not as bad as he, I am. He kept, he, kept, he kept the coolness to his <laughs> character while continuing to make sure that, you know. So anyway, I lost the point. Why did I bring that up? Because you were saying he was, they were putting down somebody, right? Oh, Tony Storm was putting down right. Thunder Rosa. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking to myself, because I read it. I didn't listen putting, to you it. you got to put your opponent over. And I'm, li I'm thinking to myself, like. Not under. You know. Then it's one-sided. Why did AEW make Thunder Rosa their champion? Why right. is it because Britt Baker had to do teeth? Right. Which could legitimately be the truth. She might have had to go back to work, right? Because she's still practicing. <laughs> We're laughing, but... Adam Cole's teeth look lovely. He does. <laughs> but Baby. why did you even make her your champion? You gave her no... Listen, I, I am know. so anti-Thunder Rosa. I know she you is are. not a good wrestler. No. She's terrible on the mic. Okay, she was where she belonged, NWA power. That's where she deserved right, to be. That's right. the way I felt about her. Right. But if you're going to choose to make her your champion, mm -hmm. what are you doing? I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what he's doing at all. The place is being run by a fan. RJ that says that's why Thunder it. Rosa wants to be released. Here's the problem with Thunder Rosa. She lies all the time, too. Mm. She never tells the truth. She's on Busted Open all the time. I did hear her on that. And she claims she had an injury. So if she really did ask a release or she really was hiding from Jamie Hayter in the bathroom, just say, hey, look, I've got a family. I'm a wrestler. But I'm a performer. I'm not a fighter, even though she was supposedly for the if MMA. You're, if, and I've said this to you before, too. If you're hiding in the bathroom and your profession is professional wrestling, you need to get another profession. You should not be hiding in the bathroom. By the way, our... Why? When did professional wrestling come a land of tough guys? It's not that at all, but you should know what you're walking into. Nobody said it's a land of tough guys, but if you're going to tell me that hazing has never occurred in professional wrestling, come on, dude. It did, but it doesn't and occur it in does. today's wrestling. And I, I, I think it does. I still think it does. I still think that there is a pecking order that you got to get through to get your respect in this business. I don't think that it's changed that much. I really don't. I mean, sure, maybe no, it's because, not as... because... I don't think Mr. Fuji's around feeding people dog. But I do the, believe the that you got to fucking bust your ass to get through to a certain level of respect Listen, dude, in wrestling companies. The PC, and even in independent, the PC shitty little world companies. has cost people Pecking a lot order. of jobs. Do you know that the WWE, when they released wrestlers mm. for, for, for 20 years, yeah. were putting their clothes in a garbage bag? Right. Now it's a problem. But now it's a problem. Now it's a problem. Yeah. Did you know that people had political opinions going back? Almost 200 years. But now it's a problem. Right. That's why Monty and the Fowl weren't around. His but, but my point it's is a problem. this. problem. Can't have a political opinion. A guy lost his job for doing the same thing he's been doing for 20 years, which is, was never a problem. Right. And said wrestler, what was her name? What, were you with Thunder Rosa? No, the one what that got the shit in the, in the plastic bag. Oh, who was oh that? Who they put I, this is like really Was that bad. Mickey James? Mickey James, thank they you. They stuck it in a bag, right thank in the garbage you. bag. Loose in the house, how are you, buddy? What's up, Loose? Mickey James, how many p women or men did she see get their shit put in a garbage Probably bag? And a... did she complain about it? Nope, I'm still working. <laughs> Not me. I'm still But watching. that's my point. Yeah, whatever, man. It's, it's, yeah. Look, it's the atmosphere that's going on right now. It really is. It's, mm. um... <sighs> Mitch Seinfeld in the house. Mitch, how are you? Michael Fenster, what's up, buddy? How are you? What's up, fellas? What's um, up? What is up? It's the wrestling Look, they've let fan. You... Let's speak about today's wrestling fan. Okay. You've got... And look, I hate using terminology, right? But we got to kind of put it into perspective here. Right. You've got the smart mark. Right. And then you have the older wrestling fans, say you or me. Right. That nothing is good enough but the old time. That is not me. No. I know what you're age. talking about. Really? It's not just us. My it's, day was it's the best day. It's non-stop right. 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 of the picking sides. Right. Look. Wrestling is a TV show, okay? Yeah. It's a TV show. That's what it is. You like what you like. Right. 
Right. And you don't like what you like. All right. I got to explain it better to you, okay? Yeah, you're going to have to do better than that last sentence. Now I'm really confused. All right. <laughs> Let's start with this. Okay. You got the younger, smart Mark that all they do is they know everything, the inside about wrestling, right. blah, 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 mm -hmm. blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And they pick a side. And no matter what that side that does, side whether right. it's good or bad, that side it's is the right, greatest no thing what. ever. We keep right. cheering, cheering. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that ain't me. And then you got the yeah, old got school you. fan that says... Right. Wrestling sucks now. Back in the day, right. it was better. Yep. So I yep. saw a post yep. from a fan, a younger fan, obviously. Okay. okay. And he wrote, okay? Mm -hmm. And I responded to this post because someone I knew responded to it, and I didn't argue with them, but I'll explain what, and then I want you to feed it in. He put the, the Mount Rushmore are the top five greatest pro this wrestlers the young of all kid? time. The young kid. Okay, what does he put? He put Roman Reigns. Interesting. Steve Austin. Okay. Undertaker. Okay. Rock, okay. Hulk Hogan. That is a hell of a list. Okay, hold on. That's impressive. So this person, like and that. I'm not going to name them. Coming from a them. younger fan, I'm that's, not going to name cool. them. That this person responded. He goes, "This is this list is a joke." Oh, here we go. He goes, "What about San Martino, Flair, Rogers, Terry Funk, right?" And I said, that, "I said," and they, and he goes, "Putting Roman Reigns on a list is a joke." And you know what I wrote to him? I said, Roman Reigns is known more now by people than Bruno Sammartino ever was. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. I'm not knocking no, today's, San Martino's today's greatness. Today's media and global outreach right? of the company. Yeah, correct. I said, how correct. could you argue a list of Austin, Undertaker, Rock, and Hogan right. and put Buddy Rogers yeah. on your list? Yeah. Well, guess what? Dinosaur, you be clueless. That dinosaur it, is clueless. It's not. See, that's the thing. Clueless. I don't think it's clueless, man. No, I think, it is. It's clueless. Is because it? It's arrogant. It's what it is. It reeks of arrogance, especially if I have an idea who the fan type is. That who thinks that their little two fucking window from 1972 to 70-whatever is, is the ultimate and everything else around it is inferior. Well, fuck you with your arrogance. You're fucking wrong. Okay? That's insane. But that same oh. asshole, notice that that same asshole... How do you not have Hulk Hogan and Stone Cold Steve Austin on any Mount Rushmore? I, I just want to read a you comment. You have to be just Brian, historically ignorant. Brian Starr not include put, at least Hogan and Austin. Brian, you are ignorant. Brian okay? Starr put Shawn Michaels, Undertaker, Triple H, Bret Hart, Owen Hart. Listen, That's I'm not going to argue with anybody's sick list. list. Sick but list. But my point list. here, and you know, Jay Will but says pro wrestling is a lot like Rushmore, college, a lot like college football. Once upon a time, there was a Southwest Atlanta conference in, in the USA. Mm -hmm. Would not leave the peep, the pack, right? Mm -hmm. Which we know about, right? right? You know what side I take, right? right. So my, my right. point, my point is, isn't it about your memories? Of course. Well, then no one's list is wrong. That's correct. Okay. That's but correct. If but if you're trying to be like historically responsible, and you write in on other people's opinions, considering nobody's opinion is wrong, it's their opinion, and you write this list is a joke. That, that's you're wrong. basically saying to everybody, fuck you, I know better. That's well, right. you don't fucking know better. That's right. Because if we really are being historically responsible, this young kid, the fact that he put Hogan and Austin, the other ones can all be interchangeable. You can argue till the cows come home. But you cannot argue Hulk Hogan or Stone Cold Steve Austin as part of the most influential, if you had to pick, who the hell did more business or more impact than those two? Mm. Don't give me Buddy Rogers. Oh, my God. Holy Doctor Who, your tortoise just went into the lake. Your time machine. Are you insane? You know? I, I don't know. Bruno Sammartino, I could see people feeling that way. That, that's... That I can see. Ric Flair, I can see people Look, feeling dude, that we've way. Had this you can't about, hand me Buddy Rogers we've, when you've we've got these names We've had this discussion here. about sports. Hey, you still believe it. that if Babe Ruth stepped in today's league, he right. would still hit a billion home runs? I think he could. I tend to disagree. But that's fine. Could. Neither I, one of us are wrong because no. it's not really true. No. Right? We don't know. Right. You could right. be right. I could be right. right. Who the fuck knows? Right. Right? Right. Uh, you know. <sighs> I mean, do you think Barry Bonds would have been, how do you think he would have done in a dead ball era? Don't know. It's probably not so good. It was the dead ball don't, era. I don't know. Do you understand what I'm getting at? I don't know. You see what I'm saying? You know, we talk about... I'd like about, to believe Barry Bonds. You talk about Mark like McGuire on steroids. Mike right. Schmidt could have been on steroids, everybody. Did you ever look at steroids Mike Steroids have been around since 1930. What about Greg Luzinski, since we're talking yeah, about those sure. Phillies guys? I man. agree. Woo, those guys had some beefy shit forearms. They, they looked pretty uh, veiny, kind of, uh, yeah, like the Ultimate Warrior. 
a little bit, a little bit. R.J. South, South, South sounds like he named all the megastars of the business, which includes Roman Reigns. Yeah. Look, whether people want to admit this or not, yeah. look, I'm 55, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not, I, I don't look at wrestlers like I did when I was 15. Right. Okay? Right. But That's clearly, sure. Roman sure. Reigns is so far... Roman Reigns is the next best thing since John Cena. Yes, I agree. Period. Since John? Yes. He's okay. the biggest, biggest star since John Cena in this business. Yes. But... I agree. Whether my, you like it or my, not, it's the truth. But I, dis I, did I can't discount a 60-year-old mm -hmm. who remembers San Martino like right. a god. Right. Because he was a god of when you were a kid. Of course he was, especially in this area. But was Bruno San Martino god in Minnesota? Was Bruno San Martino god in Texas? No! Not during that time period, right? Right. Otherwise, what's the point of having an AWA or an NWA? I don't know, man. Uh, listen, again. And I still think Bruno's one of the greatest ever, and he would be on the Mount Rushmore in many ways. On, I could see it on many Mount Rushmore versions. He's Bruno. But let's get a grip. Roman Reigns is part of a universal thing now. Everybody knows the WWE. We have Chris Lee watches us from Australia every week. You think that that was happening in 1972? Yeah. Bruno Sammartino, it wasn't happening! It's happening in today's world because there's more eyes through technology. Well, Roman Reigns so when, is a huge star. When you speak about numbers, when, wise. when you speak about change, yeah, this is why. So A and E has those wonderful documentaries, right? The last one they just had this Sunday was on WrestleMania one, right? Okay, that was that was guys. That's when wrestling changed, and that's when the old angry wrestling fan got real angry. Got angry, right? right. Because now they lost their prized possession, right? right? You took because away my secret. Th but this was my secret love. This was my secret, right? That and, no one else. And, I, and right, I could enjoy. Those whatever. are the same people this that talk about. This is all based in selfishness, by the way. Oh, absolutely. But, well, whatever. Okay. These are yeah, all. Go ahead, deny these it, are jackass. all people. Oh, by the way, get Gorp the Grappler. <laughs> I think I was talking to We're somebody. We're gonna get him on. We're gonna talk. Yes. About, try to order that Amazon. Gorp. Um, Gorp the Grappler. Um, I love it. Yeah. Selfish. People always talk about how they never wanted to tell people they were wrestling fans because they were embarrassed. No, the right. reality is they didn't want people, other people to discover right. what they loved. And then that when people could get behind the curtain like people that we know, right. then it was really special. Right. Because they became a manager. They made a movie. Right. But all of a sudden, like guys like you and me all of a sudden get a popular show. Right. How the fuck did these guys get? Fuck right. these assholes. Right. It's called so, talent. But Shit. the point is, anyway. Cable, Vince McMahon, <laughs> WWE, Hulk Hogan, Roddy Piper, right. that was the spark. Right, right. The one thing I want to keep, believe me, I love, we, we did our top 10 greatest WrestleManias. WrestleMania 1 is in my top 10. I don't mm -hmm. think it was in no, your I don't top think, 10. No, I don't think it was in mine. I, but I understand the importance. As a wrestling fan, we owe Cyndi Lauper, <sighs> Wendy Richter. Everything. Captain Lou Albano and right. the fabulous Moolah, yeah. everything. Because yeah, without everything. that match, right, right, yeah. nothing starts. Right. This started it all. Yeah. Cindy Lauper started this all. Yeah, she was. Wrestling would be in a whole yeah. different atmosphere. The right MTV now. connection just blasted it right over the top, and of course you can't discount Hulk Hogan, Rocky Three. You can't discount it. It was it was it was the perfect storm, and it was the perfect idea from Vince McMahon. And if you're jealous and you hate him, that's on you, dude. I'm sorry you missed all these great WrestleManias over the years. I'm sorry you missed all the great WWE time. Uh, have fun with your rewind. Stay in 1970, whatever. But do me a favor. Just stay there on your own. I don't want to hear from you. I don't give a shit. You know what's funny, though? You know? These same... Stop calling everybody else a joke because they don't think but like these same... tiny, your tiny little fucking window that only you can But these same anyway. people, these same you people, know? it's funny, the same people mm -hmm. that talk about wrestling, they're mm -hmm. baseball fans and football fans. Mm -hmm. they're, they're rooting. They're Yankee fans. They're rooting for Aaron Judge. They're not going, Babe Ruth was better. I can't watch right. baseball right. now. Right, right. Right, it's it's yeah. Right, it's you don't animal. ever hear that. Well, we don't. Oh, I, well, baseball was great back in the day. Right. I don't watch it anymore because right. it's stupid right. now. Right, right. We don't have any of that. To tell you the truth, the only sport that really does apply to that besides wrestling is basketball because they just shoot from fifty-seven feet out now. The game has changed. Uh, I can't stand basketball. Uh, it's a joke, and now. I loved it. You can't play yeah. defense. There's no, you no can't. such thing. It's, it's There's no such thing as passing no. and sharing the ball no. and getting the guy with the open shot. There's none of that shit. It's just let's go down the court and take a forty footer. It's it's awful. But that is a legitimate complaint. When you start it's a to complain, complain the it's way a you complaint know. for you. 
I and think that, it's legitimate. But hold on. You know. Hold on. NBA numbers are through the roof. Right. They changed it for a reason. Right. Right? Because right. the fan wants That's offense. That's all they want to see. See, when people like, the That's WWE fun. under Vince McMahon sucked. No, it didn't, dude. It's a no. billion-dollar business. Uh, yeah, it, it doesn't matter suck. what you think. It did not there's suck. A, there's, there's, two, there's three million people watching right. it every week. You know what's really bizarre? You can suck, but if you have enough of a history, you can, you can get away with it, though. Like, for example, did you know that the New York Knicks are, like, the most valuable franchise in the NBA? How is that possible after all these years we've watched them suck? Because By the way, Phil the says, city. I wonder what the comic book guy from The Simpsons would say about wrestling's Mount Rushmore. The comic book guy from The Simpsons? Yeah. Who's that? And Jason I'm says, Mr. T was said. equally pivotal. You're 100% right. 100% right. Uh, he was pivotal. Um, Phil, Phil mentions Bob Orton Jr., who we had in here. Bob Orton was a piece of the puzzle. Mm-hmm. Right, but right. when you talk he about he was an additive. I, I mean, uh, to a preservative. Dude, you know what very, it comes very down good to? One, it though. comes down to what you like. Do I like today's wrestling? I'll right. tell you what I like today. Again, if I watch an old match, mm-hmm. I have a very hard time watching it. I have a hard time with five minute arm bars. Right. You know what I mean? But right. again, I have a hard time with watching today's wrestling. Right, because it's... But I will tell you, I'm so invested in Roman Reigns for some reason, I can't watch his matches because I'm afraid he's going to lose. Right, because you're really over I, the top I'm scared. You're I'm, really like, I'm like, I don't want this guy to lose. Right. So that's a good thing. I feel good watching his Do matches. I like the mic action? I love the mic action. The right. mic action now is so much better than it was. Well, no, it started with Piper, but right. it's so good. No, right? the, These guys can really talk. great talkers, of course, of course. All right, so anyway, to prove our point, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We're going to come back. We're going to go head-to-head. We decide the – Farrow and I decide to put two guys together, and he'll go over the perimeter parameters oh God, for this, okay? But we're going to take as old as you can and an icon in the sport, Bruno San Martino, mm-hmm. and we're going to put him against another mid, as old as you a, can, a, an old as you can guy, icon in the sport, Our icon in the sport, Absolutely. Jerry Lawler, Jerry the King Lawler. That's Let's right. Get that in. We're going to put him against yeah. each other. Mm-hmm. We're going to see who wins this head to head on the parameters, and uh, I have this a feeling gonna be it may be a little bit different than we think. So we'll yeah. be right back. Elm Logistics. For all your logistic needs, call 631-299-3595. That's 631-299-3595. Elm Global Logistics. Pride, performance, and partnerships. M&J Video Games and Collectibles. Sport and non-sport cards, wrestling items, Autographed items. We buy, sell, and trade. M&J Video Games and Collectibles, located at 1049 Queen Street, Southington, Connecticut. Call us at 1-860-479-9223 or 860-93-GAMES. M&J Video Games and Collectibles. All right, welcome back to Long Island's number one pro wrestling broadcast, where we're going to bring our one of our segments that come often, Faro. It's called Head to Head. So, Faro, lead us on the way, buddy. Oi, here we go. I guess I got to get my shit together. All right, we're going to be doing an old Head to Head where we do how many categories? Five? Five. We do five categories pitting two legendary figures, maybe sometimes not so legendary wrestlers, head to head. All right, category number one, mic skills. You know, are you the king of blab? Or what? Did you just make me reach for another Twinkie? Come on, dude. you got to be able to talk better than this. Mike Skills. Number two, Matt Skills. Frankie Williams getting pounded into the canvas. One second real quick. J- yeah. JB says he can't hear us. Is our sound okay? Yeah, it's good. All right, really? good. Thank you. I don't know. What's going on there? Raise, yeah. the, raise the volume out there in Kentucky, perhaps. I don't know. All right, uh, category number two, match skills. Uh, match skills, uh, you know, uh, do you have skills like, uh, you know, Frankie Williams? Can you take a beating with, you know, by the way, is that a match skill? They're saying our mics are low. Oh, turn them up. Yeah, turn them up. All right, just see. 
like, all right? Okay. Go ahead. But, I'm sorry uh, to keep cutting you. Yeah, no, that's all right. Uh, Matt skills. Uh, you know, by the way, is that a Matt skill being able to convincingly sell as a jobber? Because I think it is. Absolutely. Wow, that's interesting. Why not? All right, so give me a little Bret Hart. Give me a little Frankie Williams. Just, but please, whatever you do, do don't give me Goldberg versus The Undertaker in Saudi Arabia. All right, uh, number uh, category number three. That's the it factor. By the way, I I, I, I love this one. Oh, are you cousin it there? Oh, I'm cousin it. Your cousin, and I'm and it. you're it. And I'm it. Oy. Yeah, oh, absolutely. God. All right. Well, uh, we thankfully have a little bit of the it factor, but... Uh, Turn yeah. up your voice a little bit, because everybody's My telling voice? us our, our voices My are big mouth? Yeah, it's so, really? so Maybe it's us. Ah, okay. Interesting. All right. Uh, what category That's better. Are we We're on? good now. Good. Are we on, on category uh, three with I'm the it throwing factor? you off. You're right, killing me here. Back the it factor is turning into the shit factor again. But anyway, that's category three. I mean, do you do it for me or not? Okay. It factor. Number four. Back of the baseball card. Pretty obvious. Belts, championships, accomplishments. What the fuck do you got on the back of your card? You got some World Series rings. What do you got? All right. Category uh, number five. Uh, the impact on the industry. Like the Hulkster, mm -hmm. as I always go to, you know? And perhaps not as much, perhaps, one of our contestants tonight. Maybe that's the point we're getting at. By the way, people are weighing in. So yeah. I'm not going to really? tell you what they're saying. Interesting. I'll read you, I'll read you guys' comments I afterwards. have a feeling who I think they think is... Uh, yeah, All right, what have, do we open yeah. up with? Mike skills? Yeah, let's do Mike skills. This is, a, this is a joke. I'm not even going to begin to entertain this. Jerry the King Lawler stomps Bruno with like a mud hole. It's not even close. Bruno is don't don't even don't even waste your time. So here's an old school legend. They're both old school. I get it, but yeah. San Martino is like the Babe Ruth, right? Of course, of, of the time against, period, correct. Against yes. could we call Lawler Roger Maris? Just for I this would like to. You know what? I'm not going to diminish him that way. I would like to call Jerry Lawler almost a uh, almost. Wow, that's rough, man. You got me struggling for an athletic equivalent. I can't call him Roger Maris. He's better than that. Could we call him Mark McGuire? Okay. All right. Just yeah, if you want to do Babe Ruth and Mark McGuire, but I, you could. I'm going to Can I say Ken Griffey Jr. Fine. instead? Fine. Good enough. Okay. I'm going to agree. i have someone honest who hit honest home runs. Go ahead. I'm going to agree with you here. Yeah. No doubt. Mm -hmm. Lawler. It's, stomps. It's, 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 it's Sam Martino. Like a mud hole. Yeah, it's not even close. Not even close. Jerry Lawler is one of the greatest talkers ever and became one of the greatest commentators ever. Jerry Lawler was just gifted. And Sam Martino also commentated way. where he was good. I thought he was good. Serviceable. Serviceable, Let's good. Let's be fair, and we grew up on him. Serviceable. I, I understand. He was serviceable. Um, he's had moments where he could get you excited when he was angry. Yep. Uh, I can remember when he, he could sell a Randy match. Randy Savage. No one's saying he can't sell a match. Right. We are comparing Mike skills. There's no contest. Let's cut it out right now. Jerry right. King. Jerry. That's yeah. a blowout. It's this a blowout. Close, it's, yes. it's like 15 to 2. All right, good. If it was a, it was a baseball game, 15 to 2. Go ahead. Matt the skills. Next one. What's Matt next? Skills. Is it Matt Matt's, skills Yeah, there? I think it's Matt skills. Mike Jared. skills. Matt skills. All right, we'll do Matt Skills. Um, this is a wash. Neither one of them were Kurt Angle. You know what I mean? Neither one of them were AJ Styles. Isn't this a wash? Matt Skills. Wow. So let's Jerry think about had it. the flying punch. San Martino was a Sam total Martino ground was and pound ground wrestler, guy. right? Just all ground. I think that they're very similar. I can't say that one was Bret Hart over the other guy. They were both serviceable, right? All right, tie. Is that fair? That's fair. I don't I'll go see with it. one out wrestling the other one. I think the two of them were serviceable veterans. That's it. I'll go with it. I'll okay. give it a tie. Back in a baseball card? Yeah. Let's do back in a baseball card. This one All we right. might argue about. We might argue about this, but I'm not I can't. I have to give it to Bruno San Martino. I have to. I don't I actually don't even think it's close. Because I understand that Lola was the AWA champion and stuff, but not for long periods of time. It was a cup of but coffee. But Lola's list of championships I are, understand are that. extensive. I understand that. But Bruno San Martino was selling out Madison Square Garden for almost 20 years in the company that wound up being the New York Yankees. Jerry Lola was selling out the Mid-South Coliseum, I got right? you. Every I, week. I got you. But I do believe this. Jerry the King Lawler was king of his area. Bruno San Martino was king of, of the his entire area. coast. Dude, wait a minute. Pretty much. In the beginning of the show, you, you were speaking about San Martino, yeah. and you said, yeah. San Martino here, but right. go to Missouri. Right. Who's San Martino? Jerry is, this is my whole point. That's why I feel like, but at the end of the day, I still feel you do not sneeze at the longest reigning WWF champion in the history of today's WWE. You don't do it. 
There's a reason why Bruno is Babe Ruth. I'm I'm gonna I'm you know. gonna give I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt, but I'm going with a tie. I'm not gonna give I it can't to either one. I'm giving so you got Bruno. San Martino. So you got one one one, yeah. and I've got one. You're making tie, it very two. complicated. You keep track of you. I'm getting like holy shit. You know. I'm just telling you. So what is it? One 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 right now. For You're me? one one one. Right. I'm one. Then right. they're tied. Right. So it's Lawler up one nothing okay. basically. Go ahead. It factor. Jerry. Mm. Jerry the King Lawler has more it factor. Mm. Jerry the King Lawler in his prime was able to sit on Letterman and throw coffee with you know the thing with the. Kaufman. Yeah, but that that should be on, that should be on influence on the industry. That sh that shouldn't be. Well, that's true too. Factor. But I'm just saying that you don't think that Jerry the King Lawler had more it factor in his prime than Bruno. <sighs> but you just made the statement that Bruno San Martino sold out Madison Square Garden. Yada right. yada yada. Right. right. So. Wouldn't that be that just means that the Jerry the King Lolo probably, if he had been it, the, the the guy over here, would have done the same thing? It factor is it factor. You think Bruno had more it factor? Wait a second, they're the same in the ring. We basically said right on the mic, Jerry Lola blows him away, and you're yeah. telling me that Bruno has the same it factor as a caped and crowned. Well, you can have an it factor and not have great prime? mic skills. Why, why can't well, you, you do can, that? Well, you can have that. Warrior but... had it factor, right? Okay, well, isn't the it factor, in the end, your presentation? Sure. You're going to tell me Bruno San Martino had a better presentation than Jerry DeKing Lawler? No fucking way. He had better competition. Well, let's in a not big get area. Into, that's why, that's what, but that's not it factor. I'm going to go with Ty on this one, too. Dude, you're killing me, dude. You're just making it even across the board. Well, no, I got Laurel up one nothing, right? Because it's tied. Well, I got Laurel up two to two one one. Okay. All right. Impact and on this the is industry. It. This goes to Lawler because you just named it. I agree. The Andy Kaufman thing. I agree. He chained that I moment. Agree. Yeah. You know, as great as San Martino was, Lawler changed the industry. It's just Lawler did. Lawler did change the industry. Yeah. He did. When we first brought this up, I said to myself, "This is no very painful thing, way. by the way, because right, you'd think there's no way that Jerry the King would get the better of Bruno head to head. Well, guess what? He just did. He just did. That's all there is to it. And you didn't even want to give him the back of the baseball card. Yeah, Bruno, I uh, which I think is insane. Okay. That, that's, that's, fair. that's me. You know, that's fair. look, look. Let's just recap real fast. Mike skills. Stop it. Not even close. Not even close. Back in a baseball court, fine. To me, it's Bruno. Okay. Right, whatever. It's close you know, enough. It's that close it enough. Could go either but, which way. but you know, you got the, the long WWF sure. short tenure. Okay. Right. Then was impact on the industry. We know Jerry did that. It factor. I have to go with Jerry because it's about your presentation. It's Again, about your presentation. That's close. Don't forget, Goldberg never Jerry. said a word, and his presentation was absolutely. By the way, Goldberg in his prime might have eclipsed uh, Jerry the King. It's hard for me. Factor. It's hard for me to forget it's, it's, about it's twenty-five thousand people cheering this guy on every month. Right. Okay. I uh, agree. You know what I'm saying? I agree. Um, but in the end, Jerry still wins. In the end, Jerry still wins. It's crazy dude. So it's to crazy. my friend out there who wanted San Martino on the top five list, right. Jerry Lawler, right. just in in some cases, and he's a we he's got people subjective. watching. Yeah. Yeah. Really, it's a blowout by Lawler. We're kind of keeping. What are the fans saying? Because you can see it. I can't see it. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just curious. You got, you got. I'm sure some folks think San Martino wins this, and I could understand that. That's there fine. is not one person that says San Martino. Very interesting. Wins this. I feel Jerry the King was, and in his prime was overall he had him. He's got Bruno. He's got Jerry the King. Lawler is one of the all-time greats. Most people remember him as just a color commentator, but we grew up with Roy Jerry Batiste King. says Lola was, was, was shit. eighty time champion as an own territory. I believe that. That's I, fine. Be, I believe that. I'm not still just doesn't Bruno's, diminish the back Bruno, of the baseball yeah, card. Bruno's reigns were ridiculous. I mean, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? And he held it for years and years and years. Seven years one time, four years the other time approximately. It's fucking and J B says puppies is yeah. a catchphrase. What's Bruno's? Right. It's true. That, listen, it's not even close. I mean it's 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 bizarre, but it's true. Jerry the King wins this. And be careful, because well, one day we may take your beloved Ric Flair and put him up against Bruno, and that could be very interesting, too. And here's the other thing. It could be very if interesting, If we did too. this in a regular sport and put Babe Ruth yeah. against Ooh, certain people... We? I would love to do that. It could be very close. I would and love And it could be this that. type of thing. Yeah. Because as much as that. everybody loves Babe Ruth and knows Babe Ruth, time yeah. passes on, time players passes get on. better. Right. Uh... The, right. the vehicles become better. Right. You know, to be fair to the older fan, right. wrestling was their own little right. dirty secret back right. then, and Bruno was right. their icon. Right. Right. It's not a dirty little secret right. anymore. Right. So times have changed, and right. this is the way it goes. Right. Anyway, we want to thank everybody for joining us tonight. We hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, again, want to thank you, and, uh, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed.
Just enjoyed it. Farrell? Yeah, it's nice to be back, too. And let's let's hope we didn't say anything this week that will allow us to be on next week. Right? I, I hope let's, you're right. Let's let's stay out of trouble, folks. I hope you're right. Yeah. I hope you're right. Freedom of speech is dead. Later!